Welcome to Crappy Creations by Annis and this new collaboration of Kiwi Lane partners um, as we come together and use the monthly club kits to design various layouts or projects using the kit to inspire you. It will be kind of neat. We haven't, you know, just to see how different they are. We have a bunch of different personalities and we're very different in our styles. So I hope it will give you a really good idea of what you can do with these club kits. So I'm really excited about this and a little anxious. It's my first collaboration. And so, um, you know, we'll see how it goes. Definitely a little nervous. Don't want to, you know, got to step it up. <laughs> So this is the August kit, uh, Trailblazer, and I did already look through it, and I was inspired by specifically the card Grit, Guts, Resilience, Initiative, and Tenacity. Um, I scrapbook my daughter a lot because she has a very active life. She's a, a butterfly. She just does what she wants, how she wants, so she's very easy to scrapbook because she's, you know, fits into every aspect of life. Uh, my son, on the other hand, has a very limited lifestyle, so he's kind of hard to scrapbook, so I gen tend to not scrapbook him a lot. So this one really made me think of him um, because he definitely has all of these traits. So I thought of him immediately, and of course the blue and the black to me was very masculine. So I have this photo of my son, which I love. Um he's just such a love bug. Yes, he's a giant. He is six foot five. Um, so no one messes with me when, you know, anyone's around. <laughs> and the little guy in his arms is Oreo. That's his psychiatric service dog. And uh, that dog is amazing. And he, he owes his life to that dog. And, you know, I owe my life to that dog. I'm able to go to work and leave the house and scrapbook with fabulous people at retreats because he has that dog. So, He's lived a hard life and he continues to live a hard life. He's a fighter. He has guts, resilience, initiative, and tenacity. So this is kind of my inspiration. I love the colors. It just, it just immediately brought me to it. So um, I thought about doing a one-page layout, but I've been doing that a lot lately when I do lives, I guess because it's much easier, it's quicker. So I didn't want to do that again. I don't want to keep jumping to that. It's not my scrapbooking style. My scrapbooking style, when I'm scrapbooking for me, is two pages. So I pulled out the other pictures that go with this is when we actually went on a trip. Uh, we went cross country um, to Tennessee, Kentucky, um, Indiana. It was for the 127 yard sale. And my son had actually met a girl out there, so we went to meet her. He'd been talking to her online for uh, over a year. So we went to meet her, and uh, with the antique business, we had to, of course, stop at Antique Ar Archaeology at their store. So this is pictures of their store, and I just, again, loved how the colors all tied in with this layout. So I'm definitely going to do a one-page layout um, with it, and we'll see how it goes. And... Um, I may split it up, but I may do a second layout with it. I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. I definitely want to do a one page for this live, do, for this video, do a um, layout with these pictures because it works still with him and the colors. And so, you know, it really kind of inspired me. So I really like this kit because of the versatility. You can really use it for every day. So, so let's get started. So going through, um, there's two types of pictures in here. I have inside the store and then outside the store. So let's see here. I love it. I say I just love the colors. I think it's going to work perfectly. And then I did actually cut out a couple of extra. Actually, I have a couple extra pictures. Um, I was thinking like this one I reprinted in a large. I had the smaller size of this one. Uh, I was thinking I could even maybe even use the sign for a little embellishment. So I had that extra picture set aside in case I want to use that. And this one, I guess, I don't know. I'd probably use it on the outside. 
let's see all right so these are inside this i do think i want again with my son somewhere less people more life in two lanes made in the usa um definitely be him if he had a car <laughs> all right so the background pages with this one uh i'm not going to pull anything in i like i really like these colors so as the building is this really bright orange, I'm definitely going to do it on this blue background. It's perfect. And then if I did that second layout, the orange would be perfect. Say so I could do the orange and I could matte them, but I just, yeah, no, I really love it with the blue. And especially with this card. And I love that mask. All right. So we're going to go with our two blue background pages. And I am going to come have them come across with the direction kind of of the brick, I think. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, I think it draws your eye away the other way. Okay. All right. And I want to see also what other um, title cards I want to use. Wonder this way I like. It's all in the details. Good boots. This would work for the outside. Yay, loving this stuff. This would be good too. And I could even just use that top part with the um, template that came in here. Just find my templates a little buried in here. Okay, let's see. So this one, eh, it's a little too long. Okay. But I could always, uh, eh, nah, probably can't improvise on that one. I'll have to use something else. Okay. I do like that. Okay. So these are the store pictures. They can go out of the way. What other ones do we have? It's no time to be bored in a world as beautiful as beautiful as this. That's cool. All right. I might use this mat. I really like this saying. However, I, if I use the other page for these pictures too, I'm really not going to use that thing. So I think I will use it as a mat. Okay, so. I have a bunch of building pictures. I don't think I want to use them all. I do like the further away one showing. Hmm. 
Hmm. I like this one. I like the orange. All right, definitely don't need this one and this one. I'm pretty much the same. I like how the brightness, I like the kind of caricature look to that. I'm going to take this one out. I think that's it. I don't think I want more than that. I think I'm going to leave it. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else I had here. Mm, I should probably put another one of him over here because I have a lot for indoors. Probably put the other one of him over here. I was just thinking I could use a photo, mana photo with a photo. So it's time to fast forward a little bit. I would love to just chatter all the way through, but this video ended up taking about two hours. It's definitely not a difficult layout, but just from playing around and all the different pieces from beginning right here where you saw me completely designing which pictures to put down and everything through to the very end it was about two hours so i don't want to torture you so it was time to do a voiceover and four times the speed <laughs> so i do stop every now and again and go back to uh me talking through the video and showing you some things i'm doing and i'll try and point out anything that i think you might be help might find helpful as i'm going through uh, this is the template, the titles that come with it. Uh, I did use the one with a date. It's so handy to have. I love those. And the little boot, as it's in Tennessee, we definitely use boots. I did use the boot. And as I said, I'm just at this point still designing it and trying to figure out what I want. I have no idea at this point still what I want and how I want it laid out. And that's why I wanted to fast forward because I'm just playing around with it, moving things around playing with the templates and playing to create. I'm just seeing what I like, where, and how I like it. I think it's neat to see it. I don't want to edit it, edit it out because it is part of the process that we all go through when we're designing a page. How I f felt the left side was better and flipped it from the left to the right. It's just, you know, we all go through the same process. So I didn't want to edit it out. So I've left it here and just fast forwarded. I'm going to jump off in just a moment and leave you to, to the actual narration. But I want you to notice here I'm using the packaging. I'm going to use that strip on my layout. So keep your packaging. This is all I use for the on the packaging, which is really rare. But I wanted to point that out to you. So I just stopped for a minute to go print the PDF because the PDF that comes with the um, kits really has some great ideas and I didn't want to go ahead and create my layout without looking at it first because I really find sometimes I really really like their ideas and I'll be like oh I wish I had done that so I wanted to print this out first just so I can get an idea of um different ideas so there is i'm looking at this right here this uh 
paper with the cowboy boot because I do want to tie the boots in because it's Tennessee in those boots. Um, I guess that would be better on the orange. Yeah, that would work well on the orange. All right, no, we'll use it on the orange layout. All right, no, we're good. Keep proceed. This would be great paper for a Grand Canyon. I haven't scrapped with those either. I would have to buy about 10 kits to do my Grand Canyon pictures. <laughs> right. So, I took this off the box. I cut that off the packaging, that half inch strip right off of the back of the packaging. And I'm going to use this across the top. I'm going to go all the way across in this orange and on the back it's this striped. So I'm going to go in this direction so I can use the stripes also. So I'm going to do two of these. All right. I've sped it up again. Again, I'm just uh, now I'm starting to really start to lay it out here. I am tracing out the inside placements. So when I go to lay it out later, I know exactly where everything goes. I didn't erase it later. Um, you could for sure. In a couple of spots, you could see my pencil, but I did leave it there. The strips are exactly two inches. Um, a really nice size work perfectly as a border across the top. So I'm still just, as I say, just playing around and before like I wanted you to see the PDF and again just hear that mind process that we all go through of eh, do I want it on this layout, do I want it on that layout, just because realistically it's what we all do. The reason I'm going through the journaling cards is if there's ones that I'm not going to use, then I'm going to use them, use the paper on the back of them. Um, originally I was keeping a lot of them, but then I'm not using them and the card stock for me I can use for layouts and is more valuable. So I'm trying to go through the titles and anything I'm not going to use. And as I know what I'm going to use this paper pack for, all the rest I'm going to use for my bits and pieces. So I was just going through and kind of deciding what I want to take out. And you'll see I'm trying to bring in that orange in multiple places. I have it on the left side of the mat, a right side of the mat, and I'm just trying to bring it in evenly. So I love this uh, pattern, this cream. Um, I just quickly was looking through the PDF to see. They had a few ideas that I want to see. I had gone to see, but nothing I liked. So I was just trying to see how to tie it in. I really like that paper. And you'll see in a moment what I decided to do. And I like how it came out. So I decided to cut them right along the shape, which is about half inch. And uh, the colors, there's I think six colors, but I actually did the, is it like a gray, a blue, an orange and a red kind of thing. So I actually just stuck with those. I put like the blue on the one side and then the gray and then the orange and the red. So I didn't keep cutting. I didn't really want to waste the paper, but if that's, you know, if you want them to be identical, you can just keep cutting along. But as I have all the colors in there, I didn't think it mattered. I liked this green, but it was really dark. Like you'll see the bottom right hand corner, there's a lady wearing a green shirt and it really tied in better with the other green in this kit. So I tried this green, but it really just wasn't doing it for me. It was too dark. So 
so I kept recutting these uh, little arrows until I had the look I wanted. I tried flipping it over and it was a really dark navy. I liked it better than the green, but again, I wanted to add in the bright, vibrant colors. So I just kept going until I found what I liked and I definitely liked the colors. And especially after I inked everything, I was really happy with how it looked. Of course, when you ink everything, it makes everything look different. So I say this layout was very easy, but just from cutting all these little pieces and, and again, I played around and cut a few that I never used. So it was, uh, took a while, but it wasn't difficult. Cutting out the, well, I'm going to trace out the date journaling box. The other ones I'll probably use on a card. And I do use those little, little dots on the bottom right there. I use those on the layout too. I'm using those little arrows. I was trying to see if they nest together, but they don't. The top is a, a larger angle than the bottom. And what I'm trying to do now is make that grit word stand out. I feel like with the, the dark blue, it doesn't stand out. So I wanted to do something that made you draw, drew your eye to the word grit. Then you see the, uh, the other side of the strip that I had cut off initially was aqua. So I wanted to bring some aqua in. Um, there's an aqua, beautiful aqua color in the sky and everything, but I tried it at the top, didn't like it. The strip I just cut right there, that's the strip from the front cover. So I cut that in half, so it was about a quarter inch uh, and put it down the bottom. So that is from your front cover. But yeah, back to the aqua. So there was a strip I cut off. Um, so I tried it to do, add another layer to bring the aqua in. I really liked my shirt I'm wearing down the bottom right is aqua and the clouds, and but I didn't like that. I'm cutting out the little circle. Again, I'm trying to make the grit work. I'm trying different things to highlight it. But again, I'm kind of, I'm designing as I go. But I like just this layout again with the this kit with the multiple little pieces. It was fun kind of just having so many options and little things to play with. I didn't bring in any other templates. It's just the templates from the kit. The only thing I brought in that wasn't in the kit was some brads at the end. So I'm looking to bring uh, do the boot. But I need two boots, and that if I did it, I was originally well, I was originally going to do one boot with the wording, but it doesn't fit. So then I want two boots with the same color paper. So I didn't use the back side either of the journaling. And also there you can do the life is better. There's different options, but you'll see what I did later. I'm very happy with it. Here I'm trying to save paper, so you see I trace it out, and I go to flip the boot, and it doesn't fit. So yes, I did erase it, because I couldn't waste the paper. So I erased the first one, and then I traced the upside down one, so I knew I'd have enough space, and then traced the other one. Now the direction of the boot paper, it doesn't really matter. It go, well, it actually kind of goes up down. Um, so I guess left, you know, it does kind of have an up down direction. They kind of spin, spun in two ways. 
and there is some de detailing to the boot so i was careful to try and cut that so you'd see it like there's definition for the sole there's definition to where the foot is so i did try to carefully show that Now this is where I'm going to take from those little pictures. I have the little roosters in the top corner. So I decided to use those roosters. As I mentioned earlier, I had them. But I wasn't sure where I would use them. So I decided to use those on the boots. So I just fussy cut them out. Now this is fussy cutting. These scissors are great because the tip, it cuts right to the tip. So I can literally just snip all the way in, which is great for this kind of thing. But see, that's why I print out my extra pictures. I don't know why I had two sets. Well, actually I do. One, um, there was something up when I printed them at the pharmacy, only there was a bunch of errors. So rather than trying to figure out which ones I missed, which ones in print right, I printed the whole batch again. So I ended up with doubles of everything. And then that particular picture is what I blew up in the top left corner. I really like the boot pattern on the boots too. I think it kind of looks like suede, how it has a kind of light and dark pattern to it. This is the aqua color. So I'm bringing that in to brighten up the page. And as there is, I say, quite a lot of that bright blue in it. So again, part of the challenge is throughout creating the layout is bringing those colors into more than one place so that it has a balance and a purpose. I like this green too. This green pretty much matches the lady's shirt down in the bottom right hand corner. So I was pretty much, you know, happy with where it was right there. I would just have to cut out the pieces for the right top. Um, see this piece, this left, right, left, right, moving it around. You'll notice I do that again at the end. <laughs> I was trying the boots on a uh, mat just to kind of see if I should make it its own separate um, cluster kind of thing, like uh, actually separated, but I liked it as it was right on the paper, even though it was a dark color on a dark color. I did cut out an arrow to go at the end there. Um, I don't think I used it. <laughs> Probably still on my desk. See, it just took time just cutting all the pieces again it wasn't it wasn't difficult it was just uh i really i, I enjoyed it it was fun adding in all the different colors and and uh pieces you know it was fun and here i decided i was going to double mat it because i just have so many pictures that are just kind of there and so i was uh i wanted to bring again bring that green in um but i decided to double mat it and do on the black first and then do the green.
More arrows. Now here I did it back to back. I was actually playing around to do with that um, at the top in that space. I was just going to cut it up and then I, you'll see. <laughs> but again, I'm really happy. So it's just two arrows instead of cutting them individually, placing them back to back. And I really like how this came out. And there were so many places I could have put that. But I just, again, these little pieces that were so versatile. I mean, there was so much you could do with it. So it was just seeing what worked in that space for me. But I felt it definitely, even though it didn't, I felt the orange around the word grit brought your eye to it more. I felt this was a nicer arrangement. Like I was happy how it looked. So I think we're about there. I think now I'm just tracing out the ones on the right hand side. Oh, the one on the left there, originally, one before that really had, um, it was like all blue. So I, I recut it because it was uh, too solid. And now I'm bringing in that aqua again, just to, again, bringing a balance. <clears throat> So I want to bring it in to another area. I'm still working on that bottom piece. I had that green arrow cut, the one I was trying to use earlier. So I thought, oh, can I layer it up somewhere? But no, it just didn't work. That bright green was much better for everything. trying to use as little paper as possible. Move it around five times. That probably took, you know, how much time I wasted doing that. So I'm just looking it over now, deciding everything, do I have everything on there? Do I have all the colors I want? Oh, and the little diamonds, what color to do the diamonds? So I went with the boot color, because again, I had, didn't have that anywhere else. Well, I had it in the double map, but you can't see it there. for the center diamond I just I t took one of those shapes and traced around it 
to make for the center. Again, bringing in the aqua. So this is for underneath the date title, the exact same shape, and I'm just gonna back it, layer it with the aqua. So then I have everything kind of dispersed throughout. And then yeah, I decided that I'm gonna mat this picture because again, I have one picture matted on the right and nothing matted on the left. So I kind of felt it was out of balance. And I'm still having issues with how these pictures are sitting on this left side. Now that I'm matting the picture, I decided to just take the edge off a little bit just as I want more space as I'm uh, matting on the paper. Once I get the mat to the size I want, I don't want to waste that much paper. So I will actually take the center out and just leave a half inch edge all the way around. But right now I'm still trying to uh, center it and kind of see how thick I want it to be. Uh, but I decide to kind of go with the same thin border like I had on the other side. And then like say I left to cut out the center leaving a half inch all the way around so that I didn't waste paper and just had a frame underneath. And now it's time to ink and stick finally. So I'm done finally. It's time to start getting it all in place. Now I say that, but I do end up changing that left side around. Once I go to stick it down, I'm still torn over it. So I did leave a little peak of blue at the top. And then it was deciding what do I want popped up? What do I not want popped up? Um, I have these stickums, which are really sticky and they're pretty thick. So I don't know how much they'll flatten in the scrapbook over time. Um, so deciding how, how much I wanted popped up, what I wanted popped up. I ended up kind of sticking some things down and then I figured I could always come back and pop it up but I wanted to get them in place. And then on the uh, black diamonds, I decided to use a brad in the center, just to add some color to it. So I'm looking for a color to use. So I did find enough oranges, like that burnt orange. I tried a larger one, uh, but I didn't like how the large one looked. So I tried the small one and much preferred that. So I went with the small ones. See, at least these pieces are easy to ink too. Nothing too fiddly. So I just butt these right up to each other. I just did the one edge, stuck the orange down, then butt it up to the next piece. With this, you can see I'm kind of curling it around my finger just so that I can get into the little uh, crevices. And I am being a little overzealous, more so than I am normally with the ink. I did like how it looked with the um, kind of dirty, distressed look. I like how it kind of brought it all together. I decided on the bottom to, on the blue diamonds, to add in a brad also. Originally I was going to go with green to bring the green in, um, but I didn't like how it looked so I ended up switching it out and going with blue. Had more contrast. I'm showing you the stick but you can't really see it. <laughs> but it's they're so sticky it's crazy. I'm used to, I kind of like an adhesive that I can move around for a second, and this, you cannot move it. Once it's stuck, once you put it any close to anything, that's it. 
I couldn't find my regular adhesive gun. I'm not sure where it is. So I was using the scrapbook adhesive, which is great adhesive. Um, I just like the big one, the, uh, the grand, because it lasts so much longer. But I do really like scrapbook adhesive. Uh, adhesive. I like the strips, which this is. Um, I like the tabs too, but the strips are nice because you can fold them over if you get, you know, a smaller piece. You can just kind of fold it, which is nice. All right, I'm going to send you back to my narration as I jostle with what to do with that left side. Of course, then we have this, this decoration over here that I really like. I kind of think maybe I should put this over here. Trying to zoom that way out. I just I could cut that down. cut that down I could do that I put that there and cut that one down maybe I have another one of it so let me try it What do you think? You prefer it that way round? I do. I'm happy with it like that. As I say, I like the top. I like the bottom. I, I yeah, you'll see. I end up uh, layering it a little bit, but I, I'm much happier with it that way round. Again, I was thankful I had two of everything because I was able to cut that picture without any hesitation knowing I had a second one. I'm trying to figure out how high I want that orange bar. And then I do pop dot the grit. And then I set this so that the points are kind of centered to that yellow, uh, yellow, orange bar coming across the bottom. So th with that popped up, I was able to recess the larger one slightly behind it and then I decided that I was going to mat that small one of course after I put stickums on it which you can't get off <laughs> so uh, I had to work those stickums off and then I decided I was going to mat it I just matted it in that uh, boot paper because I didn't really, I didn't, wasn't worried so much about uh, adding more color at this point, but I did want that separation. So it separated it from the other picture. And then I layered it. I did pop that one up. Again, I, I popped up, popped the top and then stuck it to the grit so it didn't cause another layer. It's the same height as the grit. And the same with the arrow. There's a pop dot on the left, but the right side of the arrow is stuck to the picture. 
So I like how it clustered together. I was much happier with it that way round as I than more than I was before. So I took off the aqua ones and I did end up popping those up and then the center one I popped that up. So ta-da! I'm really happy with the changes and how that came out. Now to stick the right side down. I don't think I changed anything up. I'm trying to think what I changed up on the right side. I don't think I changed anything. I think I just stuck it all down. So with a strip I just made sure it was level on the one side and then the other side and I realized the other one was a little crooked so I kind of had to bring it down closer to me to make sure it was straight. So of course it's now out of the camera angle because I had to get it right in front of me. I ended up pulling it down too far. I apologize. Now you can't see. I'm just inking everything, getting it all ready to be stuck down. But I also wanted to pull it down because I'm now working at the top of the page. So I do move it back up again. It's hard with my desk, you can't stand up. It's got all shelves, so I can't stand up over it either too when I'm trying to see if things are straight. And of course I realize when I stick this down, I have that little blue peeking out. I do notice that it's very crooked on the left. So I'm just like try to equal it out on the right. So I did, I, this is flush to the page, um, the other photos are flush. I pop dotted the open antique archaeology photo. So I actually uh, made sure the stickum wasn't on the part that would touch a picture so I could move it around a little bit. And on this, the same thing, I started to pop them up and then realized I wasn't sure where the sign would be. So I realized I can't pop anything until everything else is down at the top. So I just started sticking it down. Sticking my little decals on my boots. I was saying I do have stars. I could put a spur on the boot, but I just thought it'd be too much. I had to find another, uh, Brad too because I wasn't didn't think you'd see the one on the right but you ended up seeing it so I pulled out three thinking the one on the right would be covered and had to find another so I'm using the Tombow now so I'm trying to do it on the side because it's really causing me trouble. So I'm trying to do it on the desk. It's like barely uh, it's being a pain. So the same thing as I layer it. It's like I don't want to cover the top too much. I really like how the tops look. But it is also kind of a title. I love how I just throw this stuff up the top. <laughs> I guess when it's sped up, you notice that it's like the daba goes rolling, the paper piercer goes rolling. So 
So like I say, I put the pop dots on this, but I left the left side with no pop dots so that uh, it wouldn't stick to the photo. So I can move it around. Decisions, decisions. Where should I put it? Oh, well, Tombow didn't make sense. One minute it wouldn't work, the next minute it did. I was trying to figure out with the date and the arrow, making them all fit. Because every time I went to stick them down, they would all overlay. So the top boot, so that one is stuck to the paper. The one I'm sticking now is pop dotted, so it's raised up higher. And then the arrow, and then the, t the date. So I moved it around I think 50 times just to get it to exactly where I wanted it. I felt like they did they were separated enough. And then I have to figure out exactly what the date was that we went and did the uh, 127 yard sale. I'm trying to think of all the states, Ohio, Indiana, Tennessee. Uh, Alabama started in the tip. Kentucky. Now I have a silver pen, a silver um, archival pen, and I'm edging it, and I'm just doing the little ticks, and just I ended up. It needed something, and again, it's one of those things I never know if I really like, but it needed something. And actually, I still may do the liquid glass on the grit. I forgot about that. But uh, I just went through and edged, uh, edged, and yeah, I guess edged, outlined with the silver pen. Excuse my big old head getting in the way. Now you can see my hair.
so that's pretty much it. I hope that you um, got some ideas and inspiration. And if you have pictures of a uh, like style or masculine or something that you, uh, you know, you found a way to use your kit or I say that you just learned something, saw something new and or that you just found this entertaining. But either way, thanks for watching and I really hope that you'll watch my videos again. Be sure to hit like and of course if you want to see more subscribe thanks again